Hello guys, I welcome all of you again to the clinical cases in pharmacology and for today the case that I have chosen is a case that is related to a disorder which I have described in the question here, right? So this question which I, guys which I have made for you is it goes like this. There is a patient developed acute chest pain radiating to jaws and he also developed arrhythmia and associated dyspnea and diaphoriasis. The cause of these symptoms was due to blockade of post posterior descending artery a branch of right coronary artery the preferred antiarrhythmic drug in this patient is so guys this is a clinical question that is going to test three subjects one medicine you have to make a diagnosis what the patient is suffering from two once you make a diagnosis you need to use your knowledge of anatomy to find out the location of the disorder right that is your posterior descending artery a branch of right coronary artery Third, once I make the diagnosis, I go to treatment, pharmacology. So medicine, anatomy, pharmacology. Three subjects are involved in this question, guys. And this is what is integrated. And this is what they're going to ask you in your next exams, right? So let us be ready for the next exams. All of you second year and third year students, guys, pause this question. Take your time. Try to solve it. And once you have solved it, comment it in the comment section so that so that you are sure that this is the answer then you can start the video and see what is the answer and what is the explanation right guys so once you have done here let us see now now for this question i'm damn sure guys uh, many of you would have marked lidocaine as the answer right why do i know this the reason being you would have made a diagnosis that a patient developed acute chest pain radiating to jaws arrhythmia and these symptoms guys this is nothing but this is what this is a case of MI or myocardial infarction. And what we know is what is the drug of choice for treatment of arrhythmia? Arrhythmia that is caused by MI. Drug of choice for MI, arrhythmia that is caused by MI. Your answer is lidocaine. But is it the answer this time, guys? No, it is not. Lidocaine is not the answer. Why? Because in these cases, once you have diagnosed MI, you have to find out it is an MI of which wall of the left ventricle. See, so which is blocked is the posterior descending artery, a branch of right coronary artery. So you need to find out which which wall of the heart, left ventricle, is supplied by this particular branch. So posterior descending artery, branch of right coronary artery, guys, it supplies the inferior wall of the heart. So it's a case of inferior wall MI. Now you'll you'll find this diagnosis from your knowledge of anatomy, right? Now what is that is different in case of inferior wall MI? So guys, whenever there is inferior wall MI, in that case, remember one is there is irritation of vagus. That's one aspect. Second is the right coronary artery also supplies the AV node. So AV node is also affected due to MI. So because of both vagomimetic effect and because of uh, block of blood supply to AV node, what happens? What happens is in inferior wall MI, there can be AV nodal block and there could be bradyarrhythmia. So remember guys, in any kind of arrhythmia, right? Any wall arrhythmia in the heart, what you'll see is always tachyarrhythmia. So for any kind of arrhythmia, uh, that is induced by MI, your answer would always be lidocaine. The only exception is inferior wall MI. The reason being here, what I see is bradyarrhythmia. And guys, what is the drug of choice for bradyarrhythmia? Your drug of choice for bradyarrhythmia is atropine. So here, the right answer is atropine. So guys, you can see here, in this clinical case, you have to make a diagnosis. You have to use the knowledge of anatomy. Find out it is a case of inferior wall MI then use the knowledge of pharmacology that for inferior wall MI, atropine is the drug of choice for any other type of MI causing arrhythmia. Your answer is lidocaine because other, other, other MI location, they cause tachyarrhythmia. Only MI that causes bradyarrhythmia is inferior wall MI. So guys, this is how questions will be asked in your next exam. This is how questions are already asked in your assembly. So I'll keep on posting these questions so that you are guys next ready when the time comes. Right. All the best, guys. See you next week with another question. Bye-bye.